Hello there and welcome back to Chris's Retro Corner. I'm Chris, this is my Retro Corner and this is a little something that I'll show you in just a second. So, Ricky at youmakerobots.com has been kind enough to send this to me for free. I don't have to give it back um, and I am going to attempt something a little different. Um, so this is a micro SD tape emulation device um, from you make robots uh, they do several types of these um, particularly this one they do a full size kit and a, a sort of a compact reduced size one as well this is the full size kit okay um, so what this is um, for those of you who don't know I have re reviewed a couple of devices um, relatively recently from you make robots um, I've got an acorn tape emulator here i got on very well with that was very impressed um, but the firmware is limited pretty much just to acorn devices only you can kind of use them for a couple of others and this one this one's a little different okay so same case um, but the maxduino firmware in this um, and a slightly different um, arduino nano compatible um, I think it's a Thenery device um, in this particular one, it means that you can use this across quite a broad range of computers, in fact, um, it, all, almost all the 8 bits. Um, so, yeah, that's a really handy device. Quick, quick flash of the You Make Robots logo. There we go. It's a great little logo. I love that little guy. He's awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to see if I can build this from scratch. We're going to time it with my retro counter, Chris's retro counter, Chris's retro corner. I don't know. It was funny at the time. Um, but I'm going to build this. I'm going to time it. I'm going to flash it. Got my computer on and pretty much ready to go, I think. Um, and, uh, and yeah, sort of take you on this journey with me. We'll see. How, I'm, I'm not going to try and rush, I'll be honest. But I'm going to time it. And I'll just see how long it's going to take me. Um, so these these devices um they, they come pre-built everything's done for you you just need to format an sd card put some files on it and stick it in it's it's, it's pretty much that simple um this is a this is a little bit more of a challenge and i like a challenge um so i'm looking forward to building this up this presents sort of quite a quite you know a cheaper option so if we have a if you have a quick look at what i've got on the computer screen here um, there we go this is the kit itself and this is what it's currently retailing at okay um, so that's qu that's quite a difference you know if, if you're not too worried about the aesthetics and you just want something that's purely functional um, this is probably quite a good way to go you know you've got oops there we go hey um, so this is what I'm expecting in here um, so we've got the main board there, the SD card reader, um, the Arduino Nano, um, some buttons, some other bits and pieces we'll get to later, the sockets, power jack. Um, so this is this can be powered um, from an external adapter. You don't have to use um, a micro SD uh, lead with this. Uh, you've got the screen there. Um, and a few other little bits, not much. Um, and just, just in case I'm not quite sure what those few other little bits are, I do have my handy little automated tester now between between you and me i've not used this before so this is brand new um so yeah i'm i'm gonna cheat and i have i have the I have the doc the doc what um i have the manual literally there i'm expecting to to test a resistor perhaps or a capacitor or two um so yeah just to, just to make sure i put everything in the right place although looking at that one resistor one ceramic capacitor three electrolytics oops four electrolytics which are printed on i think that one's printed on as well actually so it shouldn't be too hard there's um there's a little bit of uh there's a bit of manual and um, ricky has got for these devices um so it's kind of put the buttons and the screen on one side and then everything else goes on the other side so hopefully i can't muck it up um but yeah be, be interesting to see so once that's done and it's complete and it looks like that um, head over to his github page you download um, the uh, so I think the TZX tools I have here's my shortcut over here it's on the other screen um, but I've, I've already downloaded that and got that ready to go um, and so once it's built um, we, we literally um, we literally flash the device and then it's good to go and over in the corner um, I've got my ZX Spectrum Plus um, all plumbed in ready to go so yeah 
it's going to be pretty uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting little ride so as they as they say in the business um without further ado um as in stop procrastinating chris and let's get let's get on with it let's oh i'll tell you what i'll tell you what do we start the counter now or do we unpack we'll, we'll unpack and we'll actually start the counter when we start the process i don't think any, i don't think any of you guys would potentially get this through the post and then go right how long is it going to take me um so let's have a look and see what's in here you have to excuse my keyboard and mouse cable so there we go pretty much looks like it did in the kit anything else there don't think so no nope, we are good to go so that's our little screen i love these little boxes that they come in it's such a great idea as well so those uh, those little oled screens don't get a knock so that's good we have got little standoffs there to go underneath the screen um, so it's supported when it's on the board we have got our micro sd card reader so that's pretty awesome um, we've got the little Arduino uh, oh, do nano compatible i believe this one is actually in this one um, so we've got a little board there as well oh look at that lovely i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in i'm gonna zoom in nice and close oh you see the camera there um but yeah you can see the board there looks like i've got it upside down there we go so tzx duino when it focuses if it focuses um by you make robots.com look at that and i managed to get a little flash going along the <laughs> along the name um but yeah I don't know i assume that the compact is probably down here somewhere but that's it's not a bad size already um you'll note that the board's got um little holes in it as well so you can uh, you can choose how to mount that maybe in a 3d printer case if you've got a 3d printer um but yeah happy days it looks it looks relatively straightforward i hope so we've also got a, a little box of bits there oh we've got a socket lovely um looks pretty good to me okay super stuff so let's go all the bits out and then i'll start the timer and we'll um we'll pop it together oops oh do you know what look at that oh how how good is this so you make robux have very helpfully so you can see that there no you can't there we go you can see that's capacitor six how helpful is that so you don't even have to try and measure them i've got my little tool and everything um and capacitor five there just gives the camera something to focus on there we go so capacitor five capacitor six these ones are labeled um you have got your audio out there external power oops we have an ic i don't know which ic that is can't even read it without my glasses on <laughs> but hey um got one resistor a couple of capacitors oh they're three there we go there's the three we have got a, a bunch of tactile switches really like these because you can you can you can hit them on the top like you're supposed to or you can hit them on the side so really responsive I do like those um we have got our remote as well for the auto pause Pop that over there. Um, ooh, ooh. Now, I'm what's it? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, I see. So we've got those. Uh, hey, we've got those uh, little little hats. Little hats. I think they're hats. They're either they're either hats or feet. I'm not sure. No, nope, definitely not feet. There we go. Right um so yeah we should i think we've got we've got five major buttons there a couple more right okay uh let's take that out here as well Ooh. oh definitely gonna need some scissors for that okay that's the that's the little thing doing all the all the good stuff taking your data file and turning it into an audio file um 
So a couple of couple of little things about this this particular kit. This kit does have an audio amp in it. Um, it's pretty essential um, in some cases, certainly, um, to have an amp on board. So so that's factored into the uh, that's factored into the design. What else? Have I missed anything else? I'm sure there's more to talk about. Anyway, I will come back to any remaining good stuff later. I can't even get into that. Oh, what an animal. What, what an animal. Okay, and I am going to leave the screen. No, I'm not going to take it out. Okay, because it's one of the first few things on. So there we go. That's our... I've got to keep those. Really handy, those are. Um, so yeah, this is... Uh, this is about it this is ready to go so i am going to call up the um oops where is it da, 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 da. there we go i'm going to call up the instructions and um literally i figure we'll start is the iron hot yes it is have i got a tea yes i have awesome don't look too close because it looks like it's been standing a little while but yeah definitely definitely a, a tea on for this one Oh, lovely. Right. Um, if I if I walk away <laughs> for any particular reason, I will stop and then restart this. Um, so, yeah, you should be able to see how long it takes me. Hopefully not too long. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, let's get going. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this so far. So I've popped the screen on. I was fiddling around a little bit and I suddenly realised what these were. These, these are the little feet. Um, you don't ordinarily get these in the kit. Um, so Ricky was very kind enough to, to pop those in for me. Um, so you've got a choice on how you mount that with the holes in there. Um, I thought I thought it was screen standoffs, but no, they're not. They're, no, they're not. Um, so I've decided to put that in at a bit of an angle, um, just because I'll probably use it flush down. You might might just be able to see it at a little bit of an angle, uh, a little better. You could obviously flush it. You could obviously stand it off as well, of course. Um, it depends if you're going to pop in another case. Pretty happy with those. They look okay. Um, so yeah, interestingly, and I should have I should have really looked. You can see there it says um, OLED and buttons on this side. It's like oh yeah, so it is. Um, you've got the you've got the little buttons uh, description there as well. Um, and then you've got the uh, nano nano this side um very helpful and each each little position there is very very well marked um so yeah how how helpful that that's the one resistor and that's the capacitor that's c5 that's c6 remember they were labeled um yeah really straightforward so i'll shut up and i'll carry on after a slurp of tea Going to check the cameras. Cameras all look okay, so let's crack on.
right, that's that's pretty much us done, I think. Um, let's pop some uh, let's pop some caps on the buttons. So green to go, black to stop, up and down, root, red for root, why not? Um, up and down, I don't think that is too much. Hopefully I'll remember which, which buttons is what. But yeah, let's have a let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look around now we're done. Um that wasn't that wasn't too bad at all. Oh, I should stop this. There we go. 36 minutes. Call it 35. Call it 35. <laughs> um but yeah. 36 minutes. Pop together. <clears throat> I did find my way a little bit, but not too much. Um really easy build I think assuming that it turns on of course um, so let me let me pop the, uh, the little feet on like I say you don't get the feet in the kit um, ordinarily so many thanks to, to Ricky for um, for including those for me that's very kind of you right let's do a little bit of a tidy up bit of tea not recommendable after 36 minutes whoops be finding little bits of a uh, component leg for a while now I think this one just one more bit okay so where do we go there let's go there so we've got our tz duino done and ready i think so what we what we need to do now really is get it all plumbed in um and then flashed as well so uh so yeah let's get a lead ready to do that with Grab a micro SD card. Here's one I prepared earlier. Plug in the uh, ZX Spectrum. So that's on standby and ready to go. So you'll have to excuse me. Um, I popped off and went and reheated my tea because I'm a heathen, but I do want hot tea. Mm. Much better, much, much better. Okay. So, what we need to do is, and we'll restart the timer, we need to flash the device. So, there's our, our TZX tools. We shall open that up and we shall, uh, shall pop in the little device. Oh, go on. In you go. There we go. So that's been recognized, I think. Oh, activity and power on the bottom, so that's good. It's a very good sign. So I believe you work your way along the uh, along the buttons. Um, I did see Ricky's and I should probably refer to it again. Um, sort of TZX Tools flashing guide. Um, so I'll, I'll, add a, I'll add a link in the description down there um, so you can find that guide as well. I may need to refer back to it because it was a little while ago when I last saw it. Um, but yeah, not, not too fussed, not too fussed about a logo. Firmware, I am going to put TZX Duino on there. Um, Comport, rough guess. Um, old, I believe, is the uh, is the boot version you want to go for. Um, LCD, it's an OLED, not an LCD. Um, oh, look, what have I done? Old boot, there we go. Display, OLED, upload. Are you sure you want to? Yes, yes I am. So we'll let that go through. I think it's okay doing it once. There's a strong chance I might need to do it twice unless I've completely misunderstood the, uh, the upload process and there's a chance I've done that. 
So that's still loading. So let's turn my attentions to my specky. So we'll pop that in, we'll pop the telly on. It's just taking a moment or two to upload the firmware. And we should be done, unless I've got it on the wrong comp port. Maybe I should check. Could have it on the wrong comp port. So I might have to stop this bit and start it again. Yep, I'm going to start it again. So we are going to pause that. I'm going to restart that. I think this time I've actually got it on the right com port. Let's hope so. There we go. That's that's a bit better. That was the light I was looking for. <laughs> oh dear. Rookie error. My fault. But yeah, just to ooh, let's let's watch the flashy light for a second. Um so yeah, over in device manager, um you can see that's that was actually on com port five. Um and I just yeah. <laughs> Should have looked first time round. Okay, so apparently that seems to have worked okay. Wicked. Um, so brilliant stuff. We'll exit that. We shall unplug this. Oh, look, no SD card, no file, no file selected. So we'll take that out. We will pop our SD card in. Splendid stuff. We shall pop the head. Ooh, there's too, too many wires. Too many wires. Let's do something about that. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, pop that in the headphone socket. Give that power. Remember, you can you can externally power this as well. Um, so you're not necessarily rely on one of these cables. But as it's plugged into my computer at the moment, I might as well. I went for the ZX logo. There we go. Reading the card, is it? So there we go. I think. I think we're about there. So what have we got? Lost. Oops, Android. I've had it in my phone. Electron BBC. Ooh, 48k specky. There we go. Um, so what do I want to play? Ooh. Invaders, of course. Would you? Hold on. Would I? Trapdoor. Mm, could do. Uh, yeah, let's 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 go with Iridium. So we will wait for that. We'll come over here and do load enter that's that's ready to go i play this it's paused i play it again because it's starting in paused mode and um yeah let's let that run through and see where we get to here right stop that because that's not loading I believe i have made a rookie error this is at least the second one and I've I've only gone and used a stereo lead. Oops, because I can hear I can hear this I can hear my specky making some noise. It's just not making enough. So yeah, let's stop that. And go and find a mono lead. So got a different cable, and let's try this one instead. That's still listening. That's ready to go. Let's play that again. There we go. <laughs> like I said, rookie error. It's a lot louder now, which is a bonus. And it's finding, the, oh, it's gone. It's finding the game. So we'll let that count up. We'll let that load. And I'll meet you back here in a second.
And there we go. Excellent stuff. Oh, bit of music. I forgot it did that. Um, so yeah, there we go. That is the TZX Duino um, from umakerobots.com. Um, what I should have done was start the start the counter again. But in all fairness, in all fairness, um, oops, there we go. That's, that's how I held it down. <laughs> um, yeah, for, forty-three minutes, uh, and that was a little bit of fluffing around, and of course I had the wrong cable, and yeah, that that would have been some of the program load as well. So let's call it forty minutes. Um, and that's that start to finish the actual build i think was about 25 minutes i'm sure i'll correct myself down here if if it wasn't that um but yeah happy days um well under an hour i'm sure if you're if sure if you're a little bit more experienced and uh weren't dawdling quite as much as myself you'd probably do this in what 25 minutes half hour something like that um another five minutes to flash it if you've got everything set up and um and yeah you'll be you'll be playing games um on your specy or com sorry, TZX Duino um, compatible um, in no time at all. So uh, yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Um, if you like what you saw, please do give us a thumbs up. Um, otherwise, feel free to give us a thumbs down. But let us know. Let us know what you like and what you don't like about the video. Um, get in touch in the comments below. Um, I always do like a good chat. Um, so thank you for watching. And I do look forward to seeing you again in another video soon. Take care now.